Another intricate weave of crystallization all the way from uh, the Katanga Copper Crescent, Copper Mines of the Congo. Camera, still pictures and video don't do this one much justice because there's a hell of a lot happening and the colors are very, very mild. But what we see here is uh, a most likely shatukat could be planchia too, associated with some crystallized quartz, quartz crystals. Um, the black material would be girthite, formerly known as a limonite, um, basically one of the products of hematite or pyrite oxidation. Um, we go around like that, there we have a flat section, uh, which uh, there, there may be a very thin, there's almost a bit of chateauancy over there, as I move it, and that could even be the calcite. Uh, often what I'd expect to find associated here, there's a different blue as well, maybe uh, some shatukite. Often uh, as association I'd expect on this particular material to find some aragonite. Now I think we may be looking at some over there, which under magnification you'll find that it's little pipes. Um, so not fully botryoidal, but little almost sticks, little white sticks. Uh, let's turn it this way over for another point of display. It's a pity we can't see the definition in the quartz crystals. So on a turntable, looking from the top down, you'd have this effect. I, I would actually prefer to display it this way around. This is quite an exciting section as we look at it like this. All the way from Tantara in the Katanga, another little masterpiece.